They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. Don't really want it. I strike with no warning. Strike with no, they don't see it coming. Don't see it coming. I handle my business. I handle stay my the fuck out the way. Fuck out the way. Yeah, all on my lane, get the fuck out my space I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak I'm on a winning streak, yeah, I'm on a winning streak I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak I'm on a winning streak, yeah, I'm on a winning streak Instincts, you understand? So, knowing that there is nothing that can just straight certify you To be that for real, because like I told y'all niggas I don't give a fuck about no nigga having no body. That's that KOA shit. Killing on accident. Man, you'll be then killed the nigga on accident, but you go to jail, you killed your homeboy. You sad in the motherfucker about this shit, but nigga asked you, but you scared because you in prison, so you just, you know, embellish on this shit like, yeah, I had a no, Berman one. Are you serious, nigga? Nigga, you cried more than his mother did. You know what I'm saying? That was your best fucking friend. You nigga were playing with a fucking gun. Wasn't getting no fucking money. Wasn't nothing street about the shit. The, the, the circumstances surrounding that murder, that accidental murder, were not street in the least. These niggas who didn't murder their fucking wife. I got a body, nigga. The fuck do you have in a body? What does that mean? shot by the fucking police. There are no white kids getting shot by the fucking police. Do we all understand? Do we all agree that we're at war at this point? If so, we have to do something about it. We can't just keep screaming at these individual situations. This is one big situation. They are at war with us. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Canseco and this is Aki. Aki got a call for him. Mm-hmm. Got a call. Uh, Fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. I just seen that shit. Um, and the Men Too Movement. If I ain't... Did I ever say that? I don't know. Uh, and this is... Are you fucking serious? Oh, it was something I was supposed to be telling y'all, man. And when, as soon as I get done with the show, I'm like, man, I, said, I was supposed to tell them motherfuckers something. Uh, oh, if you're not getting notifications, um, unsubscribe, and then resubscribe, and then hit the notification bell. If you have not hit the notification bell, that's why the fuck... You hit the notification bell and tell you it says you'll get all notifications. Um, don't just like come on, do the work, man. Do what Marlon Craft said. Do the work. Um, any more announcements? Let me see. I don't think so. Um, every Monday, uh, we go live. Uh, you already know that shit. All right, so let's get into it. All right, NBA young boy. Once again, NBA young boy. Um, I ain't talked about NBA young boy in a while, but I need to talk about him now because uh, it seems as if uh, we have a misunderstanding here. I can about to get real violent on these people, so you, you might want to get down. But uh, we might got a real issue here. Uh, NBA young boy went to jail for whatever the fuck. Don't give a fuck. Um, NBA young, what's going on? What's going on? NBA young boy went to jail. Uh, and now all of a sudden, uh, the whole goddamn NBA young boy team is fucking locked up. Whenever a nigga go to jail and then all his homeboys come to jail, that nigga told. I think that what what's happening? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There you go. Um, I think that's what's like what's happening, and and, and obviously it, it, this is what's going on. Um. You don't see NBA young boy, Kodak Black, Kevin Gates, Yo Gotti, the list goes on. You won't see them people 
the way you see um, Tekashi 69 and this is the issue that we're having with um, the, the the big consensus that I don't like a certain artist and shit like that. The issue, actually Big C asked me this shit, what would I say to a certain artist if um, if it, um, if we got on the phone and, and niggas said like, what, so what's your issue with me and shit like that? I told him, you know, some other shit I'd say but I think my answer is, I, I think about it now, my answer is, I see in you the same shit that I saw in Tekashi 69 You understand? Now, it was more of a worldwide thing uh, with Tekashi 69 Everybody uh, supposedly saw um, Tekashi 69 was not what he said he was. Now, that was an easy one. Look at this shit like a game. Like how 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 good are you uh, at, at judging people's character? I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of people's character, not just because I you know what I'm saying was out there and had to make these decisions, and I wasn't just you know betting uh, you know uh, who, who can make the first post on YouTube or the first post on social media. I was betting my freedom and my life on these decisions I made. On whether a person was good or no fucking good. And whether or not they were... Um, just because they weren't good didn't mean that I couldn't interact with them. It's just... Like, are you... Like, how bad are you on some shit? Because you know not too many folks in the street are good. You have to understand it in the street. Everything is bad. To, so, to see anyone in the street as good, you have to have a warped way of thinking. And it's, not, it's confusing as fuck, but when you out there, you understand it. Like I told y'all before. That's grand great. Hey, look, man. We go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in that live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The Super Chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App, we got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that. If you try to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Me and Two t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast Scullies, Scullies go for 10, the Me and Two shirts go for 20, the uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirt go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, follow my advertisers, no matter if you got a book. Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200, and those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction, and I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do, yada, 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 and we'll go to it. But I'm not doing it. Are you paid on Friday? Dog, I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on... Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also. So you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get your shit together, Beyond. In the streets, me giving your grandma um, poison for free, is that I get praise for that. So you know from the jump, we're in a place that doesn't make any fucking sense. So, actually, to be honest, if a person is good in the street, good in a way that you're thinking about it. If they're good, I won't fuck with them because I, I try to make sure that everybody in the street that I fuck with is bad because I feel like if you're in the street, I may have to fuck you over. I may have to, you know what I'm saying, anything can happen to you. So I want to make sure that you got some dirt on you so that whenever I, if I do, if worse come to worse and I do have to do something to you, then I can use that for justification. Like, yeah, that motherfucker bad anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I it's hard to do that to somebody like there's an angel in the street. You know what I'm saying? So um, 
That's what I'm telling you. This this is what my this is why my sense of judgment comes from this place. Not to say, uh, me and DJ were talking about this uh, the other day. Not to say that nowadays you have to be a gangster or a street nigga to be in a rap shit. Not at all. But when a motherfucker is saying that this is what they are now, it's fair game. I can judge you up and down, and then that's even more. Let's go further into it. Um, you only see what it is they want you to see. Um, you don't get to see what they do behind closed doors because at, at the at the same time, let let me break this shit down. I, I might need to make an episode about this shit of of what we're breaking down when we say a motherfucker is not no street nigga, is not no gangster. You don't have to, and this, this is where everything gets fucked up at. A motherfucker say, um, dog, no, you, you not no less of a street nigga or a gangster. Like, so you come in this rap shit, and, and, so you didn't did your, like, Mano. Mano, very good example. Mano. Alright, dog, this nigga don't have to do that shit that he was doing no more. He is a real, you know what I'm saying, gangster and a real street nigga. And you know my definition of street nigga. Everyone has their own. My definition of street nigga means that you can go to any place where it's street, where it's gangster, you know what I'm saying, and be comfortable. Because there's, no matter where you're at in the street, like you're going to get a gram, a gas, but but you may go some places, you know, get you a gram, not a gram. You'll get a blunt of gas. You know, it's just, you know, get you a, 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 a I don't know what y'all selling Reggie for now, but you know these prices will, you know, pretty much be the same. You got five dollars, you can get this. You got ten dollars, you can get this. You know what I'm saying? Fifty cent get you a square. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that price may be different in New York because they say them boxes of that bitch cost goddamn fifteen dollars for a box of new ports and shit. But you know, it, it's you'll be comfortable in the street because you know. Other than other than the motherfucker having a different accent, these motherfuckers are you. They live the same way you live. You know what I'm saying? The bitches in these are, the bitches in the projects ain't paying no fucking rent. You know what I'm saying? Welfare is the same. These the agents of the powers that be, you know, the lady a welfare service lady, she can go and do a welfare check in Alabama and then the next day go to New York and make the same fucking check and it'll have the same shit on it. The same fucking qualifications. CPS, you know what I'm saying? Whatever uh, service you have that um uh, fucks with the kids and shit like that, child protective services, they'll go here and there and have the same checklist. They've seen trailer parks um, in fucking uh, Wyoming and they've seen trailer parks in fucking Alabama. It's the same shit, and, and us, the people who, the men and the women, hood rats and street niggas, who walk around and live through these places, we, of course you're going to feel more comfortable at home, but I feel like a real street walker, a uh, real street nigga, will be able to go through there and he knows what's what. He'll get the vibe when niggas is fighting or when a nigga is trying to rob him or this and that. He's not going to be green going into the hood. That's my definition of that. Um, not that you're scared to go in these motherfuckers. You're going this motherfucker. It's been niggas who came from the country and went up there to, you know what I'm saying, New Jersey and live pretty much the same because the streets is pretty much the same. It's poverty. We're all trying to, you know, make a dollar and, and make that motherfucker stretch. So we understand what's going on. Um, and, 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 and it's going to be a respect thing. I think gone are the days where you can uh, come through a nigga neighborhood and shit like that. And because you got on the wrong color, nigga, they spray you down and shit like that. It's a different place nowadays. You understand? So, uh, you know, and, and plus the fact, you know, why, why the fuck would you be walking through somebody's neighborhood if you don't already know somebody there that's going to put you on game? Like, man, them niggas out there be tripping. Look, this goddamn. So you will already know what what's what and how to move and shit like that. Uh, and that's just, you know, a, a little, you know, on top of that. But... As I'm talking about rappers and us getting a misunderstanding about what we're talking about when we say this nigga is really what he say he is, 
no, nah, he's official, he's authenticated, he's been authorized, he's certified. No, nah, he's really that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, 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 it's such a flexible and flimsy type situation also because just because a nigga's been arrested for something doesn't mean that he's really that. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's such a... And that's why we have to go off of what we know about the street. Only a real street nigga can tell you, nah, that nigga's not that. Nah, fuck no, nah, because I've seen him before. Dog, once you start traveling, you start moving around, you're going to have people who remind you of other people in other places. You understand? And, and, that, and, that's, and that's another thing. If, if you're just a, 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 a little bit conscious, it'll let you know we are all connected and we are all family. There is people in fucking Idaho. There are people in fucking Camden, New Jersey, uh, fucking uh, uh, Brooklyn, New York, uh, uh, Jackson, Mississippi, uh, Miami, Florida, and uh, El Paso, Texas that look just alike. That look just a fucking like. Black people, different last name. What the fuck does that matter? That motherfucker look just. You just seen um, uh, what the fuck is the, the bitch from the goddamn the, the shower rod? Mimi is that her name? Mimi. Uh, they just put her child and Stephen A. Smith up together. Look just the fucking like. We are all family, but we just can't for some reason. We cannot see that shit. We cannot see that shit. Or we see it and we just choose, man, fuck that shit. That nigga, fuck that shit, that bitch. We just can't, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, as we're still in this savage mode, we have to use our savage instincts. You understand? So, knowing that there is nothing that can just straight certify you to be that for real because like I told y'all niggas I don't give a fuck about no nigga having nobody that's that KOA shit killing on accident man you'll be then killed the nigga on accident but you go to jail you killed your homeboy you sad in the motherfucker about this shit but nigga asked you but you scared because you're in prison so you just you know embellish on this shit like yeah I had it on Berman one are you serious nigga nigga you cried more than his mother did you know what I'm saying that was your best fucking friend you nigga were playing with a fucking gun wasn't getting no fucking money. Wasn't nothing street about the shit. The, the, the circumstances surrounding that murder, that accidental murder, were not street in the least. These niggas who didn't murder their fucking wife. I got a body, nigga. The fuck do you have in a body? What does that mean? So you have to have someone who it... Who knows these type of things. So when a person says these type of things. It's like oh the fuck on. Why in the fuck would he say that? Little statements. Little fucking shit man. Little shit. Why in the fuck would he say that? He said he was what now? How old he said he was? You know what I'm saying? So it, it ain't for the whole internet to be behind nobody when they say this and this ain't that, whatever like that. It's not for y'all. You internet niggas are trying to make sure that us niggas become dinosaurs and that we do become extinct so that you motherfuckers can run the world. This is why the majority of people that are on top, these weren't the fucking leaders. These weren't the big niggas. These are really the fucking lackeys. So much so, when these niggas do get money, like the big, the real big homie, it becomes a clash. This nigga was below the foot soldiers. He wasn't even willing to put the work in. This was just a broke nigga running around dirty that motherfuckers felt sorry for. Now he's taking a bath every day. So it can throw you the fuck off. It can throw you the fuck off. And when you understand and know the 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 uh, the politics and the um, the hierarchy of this street shit, 
some niggas don't belong in certain places. This is another reason why we know that the powers that be do that shit just to confuse our ecosystem even more. I try to break it down. Try to break it down for y'all so that even the person that's never been in the street can understand what, what's, what's taking place here. Um, what I'm talking about now, let me, let me, let me go a little, you may go a little bit further into, you know, the certification of a street nigga. Uh, the, the thing, and when you're in prison and shit like that, motherfuckers, your paperwork, they call that your driver's license. So when you come on the yard, you show your paperwork. All right, this nigga, cause that shit gonna tell everything, your whole everything. Uh, up to this last case, to, to what happened in the courtroom, what the judge said, what you said back to the judge, uh, how many people on the case, how it came out, all that shit like that. You give your paperwork to people, they study that shit, all right, look, oh, he good. All right, all good. You know what I'm saying? Cause we can see what the fuck going on. You don't have your paperwork, that means you're not proud of your paperwork. I'm proud of mine. I'm proud of mine, so I don't mind motherfuckers going back and doing no history on me because there ain't no, no blemishes. Really stood the test of time. Not to say that's no real badge of honor, but we talking about this shit right now. So this is what you need to know my credentials in talking about this shit. If I'm talking about rap shit, I have credentials into this music shit so you can understand that I, I am entitled to talk about this shit. As long as the fuck I want to because I gave my whole life to the street. I abandoned my family for the street. I sacrifice things that, that no one should sacrifice for a fucking idea in the street. So when I see niggas now came to the realization that it was all for fucking nothing. So I ran the street cycle found out it was all for nothing. That's why you see a lot of real street niggas on the outskirts of the street shit right now because there's no win inside of it. So when we look at the niggas that are still in the street and they with their chest out, it's like yeah, that shit six months. Nigga on, on side of you might say six months. Nigga, you tripping. That nigga got 30 days. You don't get no one like you get used to get back in the day. Back in the day, a nigga will be on for three years before he catches 30. Man, nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker can't even know your name good. Your name can't even circulate around the city good before it's old with. You know, it'll be, you know, some shit that can fool a nigga will be because you didn't tell on your first case and you did 15 for it, now you come into the street and if niggas accept you back in the street, nigga feel like, oh, this nigga right here certified. But what that nigga done learned on that 15 year sentence is, I ain't never going back in that motherfucker. I've learned what it's like to sit long periods of time. I, during that 15 fucking years, I've seen snitch niggas go home and have parties strong for them. I gave my whole life to this fucking thing. This honor. This street code. Only to see motherfuckers ball that shit up and wipe their ass with it and go home heroes. While I'm in here languishing, the same people that won't send me money through this motherfucker party. Oh no. Oh no. That's a dangerous fucking person. I'm trying to tell you something, my nigga. You better pay a fucking attention and understand that nobody that's in the street with you right now is going to uphold that goddamn code. They're not going to uphold it. 
when they get in that motherfucking put their goddamn arms in their shirt and shit like that. When that motherfucker tell them that they can go home, they're going home. They're going home. Fuck do you think this is? You think that motherfuckers look at your life as if it's above theirs? Do you know how much shit go through your mind when you in this fucking room? Wondering what the fuck they got? You still rolling, you still high. They just snatched you off the street. Do you understand what goes through a motherfucker mind? Everything that you've ever done to them. Understand the same way I think about niggas. Niggas think like that too. I don't fuck with motherfuckers that's all the way good. I fuck with motherfuckers that got dirt on them. So this might be somebody that you may have slighted in some type of way. Let's take it back to American Gangster. Somebody you slighted without even noticing it. So, so what? Success took a shot at you. What you gonna do now? Become unsuccessful? You, this the streets, dog. Like, you do shit. You can be high drunk and just do something to a motherfucker. And, and they take that shit extremely personal. And now is the time that they can exact revenge. Especially if they're in a higher position than you are. And especially if you don't have no team of real murderers. There's no way to play this street shit pussy. If you're not ready, if you don't have a team that's ready to take this shit all the way, you're just a fucking target waiting to get hit. If you don't have a team of murderers that have everyone that's fucking with you in line, meaning that if they go in this motherfucker, they understand I'll never be able to go back home or somebody's probably outside of my mama house right now. That's the only way to play it. And even then, if you're the nigga that's waiting outside the nigga's mama house, you better understand that that nigga, to save his ass, because they're going to call you a monster. If, you, if he snitch, if the nigga snitch on your boss man, you kill a mama, they're going to make, nigga ain't going to do nothing but pull a goddamn Alpo on you. You seen what Alpo did to my homeboy? What what my nigga name is? The nigga who they said was gay. The crazy nigga in, in fucking DC. Y'all gonna tell me the name in the description about I mean the comment section. Oh, uh, Wayne Perry. I hate I ain't got my fucking car mix. What the fuck happened to my car mix, dog? Ain't gonna do nothing but goddamn use as a get out of jail free card. That's what a boss supposed to do. You ain't nothing but a fucking shooter. I got another episode coming up telling y'all how to choose a shooter, how to pick your shooter, how to be a shooter. Those are like three different videos. But there is no end to this shit. There's no end. The only end is death or the penitentiary. And death is better than the penitentiary. At least then you won't know what's going on. I'm saying for the street knowledge because in prison you're going to have to die so many times oh you're going to have to die so many times you're going to die when you find out your bitch fucking somebody else you're going to die when she gets married you're going to die when she finally come and tell you that that kid that you was taking care of when your fucking kid um that's just on on a relationship death you're going to die when your mama die you're going to die when there's nothing that you can do you're going to die when everybody stops sending you shit you're going to die when you see the snitch go home you're going to die when you hear Folks is fucking with the nigga that got you locked up and shit like that. Man, so many deaths. But the only reason you out there right now is because you high every day. You you wouldn't go out there sober. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. And you and you it's gonna be a bad day when you realize that all the shit you did. That all that shit you did was all for the dope. If you went on that dope, you'll be a whole nother person. Now you and this motherfucker trying to get home. 
trying to get home, hoping they got a program, hoping the laws change. And, and that's the, the worst part of doing time is, 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 is when you got hope. I'm hoping they pass this goddamn bill and change all the laws. Now you got to put the appeals in and go put your head down in front of these fucking white folks. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I sure. Yes, ma'am. Be happy to work. And, and I'm going to change for all this bullshit that they put you through. It's like, go ahead and be that now because you're not that nigga. You're not him. You're not that nigga. You're not ready for this street shit. Unless you're ready to die, go to prison today. If you're ready, my nigga, then, then, then so when it happened, it, it shouldn't be no motherfucking... If, if you really with this street shit, then all your money should be getting put up for your fucking lawyer and your case. So that they don't give you, you know what I'm saying, that long sentence. If you really with this street shit, then you know you're going to prison or you're going to die. So unless you just know I'm going to shoot out with the police, I'm not going to court, you should be saving money for your fucking case. Hopefully you'll have a bond. But if you really out there thugging like that, your, your case shouldn't be state. It should be a federal case. If you're really thugging. And that brings me to what we're talking about today. Talking about NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy told on everybody. Some niggas want to, you know, oh, oh man, you don't know that. No. Nigga, it don't happen like this. A shooting happened back when. That, ain't nobody said nothing about none of that shit. They didn't just fucking, all oh, NBA Youngboy in here? Yep, we got all the information we need. Fuck no. Nigga, filled in the goddamn blanks. All good. You did your job. Now we're going to take it easy on you. It was him, him. Because you was never no fucking leader. You can tell there's a difference between. It's, it, you can just, you know, got it, dog. Kevin Gates, NBA young boy, Kodak Black. Um, uh, uh, Maine. Uh, is that name? Maine? Taking Maine. Ain't that nigga name? Look at all the little niggas that's in jail and then look at the niggas, the real bosses. Who have niggas up under them. You niggas was never supposed to be that. But then look also look at the rise of these niggas. And look at the rise of these niggas. These niggas right here were loved by the, the, the children. And you know Tay K. Tay K. Kodak Black. NBA Youngboy. Just look at them. YNW Melly. You got all these fucking. Was never supposed to be leading shit. The only issue I have with these niggas is that when they go to jail, they don't go to jail alone. It's always some, uh, Kodak Black, uh, some niggas in a Porsche and shit like that. Uh, NBA Youngboy, now the shooting that happened in uh, South Carolina, wherever the fuck the shooting happened at, now you didn't open up that case. As long as you... I'm not talking to the rappers. They won't understand it. You niggas that are around these rappers, please understand. In the street, there's a hierarchy, there's a hierarchy where, okay, I'm that nigga. You know what I'm saying? All oh, the hoes love it, the street love it. Uh, uh, it's all love. You are just a shooter. You just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just... A nigga that be around whatever like that. Like, your claim to fame is me. Like, yeah, you know, that's my homeboy and shit like that. Nobody give a fuck about you. As a shooter, listen to me. As a shooter, you also moonlight, meaning that you have a, a, a another job, as a charge sponge. And then you triple to a bullet sponge. Shooter. Charge sponge, bullet sponge. To be a shooter, all you have to do is have the gun. Now, you're going to have to spaz out at times. And, and if you are real... See, nowadays, you know what they... I, I'll go deep into that when I do the video about a shooter. Because if you are, if you really are a shooter, then you don't have to ride with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? This nigga need to keep you paid, whatever like that. And you don't never need to be on the scene. Never be on the scene. 
you should have a burner phone for even when he contacts you. But this your man right here, the nigga should be sitting back. It's all good. If there's an issue, it's all love. But nigga ain't seen no shit like that since Boosie. But we're gonna talk about that. But with with with, with NBA Youngboy snitching, man, it, it it just with the hierarchy. Why in the fuck wouldn't y'all niggas come to jail? When you're looking at this fucking game and you're looking at how retarded this is, you just a, a young nigga who ain't never had, oh, what the boy, you just never had in it, and then uh, all of a sudden everybody following you and shit like that, you're going and you're going straight to hell, but everybody following you and you're oh, I'm, the, I'm a leader, I'm smart, everybody, you know what I'm saying, like these, and this is, this is my issue with the CIA, and if you're not in the CIA, then stop doing the CIA job. If a nigga's doing something retarded, don't say, oh, it's fucking great, oh, the CIA has secret accounts and, and, and uh, fucking troll accounts where they tell rappers to do stupid shit just to see if they'll do it. Try to excite beef and shit like that. Because it's going to help the fucking label because the label is the feds. They don't get no money from no artists just, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, you need to die or go to jail. It's going to boost this shit. Since the NWA days, this has been. But this is this is bullshit. For you niggas who are around these fucking rappers, the world sees the rapper as the prize. You matter not. To see him, to see Takashi go to jail and then folks looking at Shotty crazy after Takashi snitch is like, oh, fuck no, nigga, I'm. Full, I'm full time YouTube, nigga. I'm full time YouTube. How in the f is nowadays? And and the streets don't matter because the streets don't put money into this shit. We, the streets ain't put money into this shit since the internet hit. Since the CD man became a real job in the hood, the streets have not been a part of music. The streets don't really go to, to, to fucking concerts. The streets don't really go buy your fly. Man, these 13-year-old white girls run this industry right now. If an artist is popping, it's because they have the 13-year-old white girls. You look at Chief Keith, Kodak Black, these motherfuckers have white girls as their fans. Oh, I fucking love his hair. Streets don't got shit to do with it. You can tell. Look who the fuck rainbow hair, tight pants, wearing purses. And I got to talk about Young Thug. Man, I got to talk about Young Thug. I hope I get a chance to talk about it tonight. Nobody cares about you. So if you that nigga in the car, as nigga shooting and shit like that, nigga, it's going to be a lot of peer pressure. Yeah, bitch, we bout that. We done with this shit. We done, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Nigga going to get smart than a motherfucker in the interrogation room. NBA young boy wasn't there two days before the whole NBA camp is not locked the fuck up. And it's going to be people online saying, Ah, oh, you don't know what the fuck is going on. Stop fucking speculating. That's fucking bullshit, dude. Where's the paperwork? In the street, if you can't make a decision until you see paperwork, Hmm. Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco. Make sure you hit that PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.